Welcome to the National Weather Center, where the collaborative spirit between the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and the University of Oklahoma creates a unique blend of weather research, operations, and education. Completed in the summer of 2006, the National Weather Center covers 244,000 square feet and costs $69 million. Hi, I'm Caitlin Frost, the Outreach Coordinator here at the National Weather Center. I'm also a proud alum of OU's Meteorology Program, and I am so excited to serve as your tour guide today here on this virtual tour. Now, since the National Weather Center houses several federal entities, it's very important that we follow all federal security guidelines. Anyone who works in the building or visits needs to have a badge displayed at all times. I have mine ready, so let's go. As we enter the building on our right, we're greeted with Weathering Oklahoma, a magnificent sculpture created by native Oklahoman Leslie Martin as a tribute to the state and its severe weather. Martin cut the shapes of Oklahoma's 77 counties out of 20 gauge mild steel, then traveled across the state, installing each county's steel shape outdoors, fully exposing it to the elements from March through June 2016. In June, the pieces were mailed back to Martin, who compiled them into an 11-foot-long, 300-pound map. This reflects the impact the weather has had on each county and the many variations across the state. The Oklahoma Weather Lab, known as OWL, is the Student Forecast Office. OWL provides forecasts for OU Nightly, a live student-run news broadcast. They also provide forecasts for an assortment of public radio stations. The Visitor Center provides an immersive and interactive experience for all of our guests by way of Liquid Galaxy, an interactive display using Google Earth and Google Maps. The Visitor Center looks out into the spacious atrium. Our atrium has hosted numerous conferences, workshops, receptions, and even art exhibits. The weather wall is on the north side of the atrium. It is comprised of nine 55 inch LCD displays. These can show separate images or can be combined into one large screen. The weather wall can also be used to bring up PowerPoints, slideshows, and video game systems. Across from the weather wall is our Science on a Sphere, owned and maintained by NOAA's National Severe Storms Laboratory. Science on a Sphere can show just about anything, our planets, ocean currents, and even current flight patterns. Using four projectors, each responsible for a quarter of the sphere, combined to bring the hollow six foot in diameter fiberglass ball to life. The first floor of the National Weather Center is also home to the David L. Boren Auditorium, a perfect location for conferences, meetings, and large classes with a seating capacity of 235. is also home to a couple of movie stars. Behind me you'll see Dot 3 and Dorothy. These were actual movie props used in the filming of 1996's movie Twister. 
This was based off a real research project conducted by the National Severe Storms Laboratory. Over here, you'll see this 400-pound instrument, otherwise known as TOTO, the Totable Tornado Observatory. This instrument here was used for three years in the early 1980s. You'll also notice over here on Dorothy, we have a couple of different logo stickers on there featuring Muskogee State College. OU would not allow their logo to be shown, so Hollywood had to come up with a couple of fictional ones. Dorothy and Toto are conveniently located next to the Flying Cow Cafe, which is open Monday through Friday. Weather vehicles and instruments are stored in the vehicle bay, including the Shared Mobile Atmospheric Research and Teaching Radar, or SMART radar. These are used to study convective and mesoscale atmospheric processes to help improve forecast. The National Severe Storms Laboratory mobile mesonets are used to study the atmosphere just above the ground near storms. The second floor of the National Weather Center houses several NOAA units, including the National Weather Service Forecast Office, one of 122 offices nationwide. The Norman WFO location provides forecasts for 48 counties in central and western Oklahoma and eight in northwestern Texas. The National Weather Service Storm Prediction Center is one of nine national centers. The SPC predicts hazardous weather that threatens the contiguous United States and issues severe thunderstorm and tornado watches. The NOAA Hazardous Weather Testbed Space. This space was built to foster collaboration. Those collaborations are evident in the NOAA Hazardous Weather Testbed, a physical space that allows researchers, forecasters, emergency managers, broadcast meteorologists, and behavioral scientists to test and study experimental forecasting tools. Other offices include the NOAA NWS Warning Decision Training Division, administrative offices for the NOAA National Severe Storms Laboratory, the University of Oklahoma Cooperative Institute for Mesoscale Meteorological Studies, the Oklahoma Climate Survey, and the Center for the Analysis and Prediction of Storms. Much of the computing power within the National Weather Center is housed on the third floor. Here at the server room, it has 1,720 servers that take up the 1,400 square feet of floor space. Over two miles of cable run below that floor. The third floor of the National Weather Center is also home to the College of Atmospheric and Geographic Sciences Dean's Office and the Oklahoma Mesonet Operations Center, a network of 120 environmental monitoring stations covering all 77 Oklahoma counties. At each site, all aspects of the environment, including temperature, wind speed, and direction, air pressure, and soil temperature, are measured by a set of instruments located on or near a 10 meter tall tower. The observations are then transmitted to a central facility every five minutes, 24 hours per day, year round. The fourth floor is home to the National Weather Center Library, a collaborative OU and NOAA library. Among its many fine features, the National Weather Center Library offers thousands of science journals, extensive archives, textbooks to check out, expanded hours during finals week, and popular visits from therapy dogs eager to relieve stress. The National Weather Center Library is also home to several unique collections, including early works on tornado damage assessments by J.P. Finley and his officers, books authored and signed by Ted, Mr. Tornado Fujita, and original technical memos issued by the NOAA National Severe Storms Laboratory. The fifth floor 
Bar is home to the School of Meteorology. 250 undergraduates and 100 graduate students encompass the school. It is the largest school of meteorology in the nation. The fifth floor also holds meteorology faculty offices and several classrooms. Even though we're here on the fifth floor, we're actually about nine stories high due to all the false flooring in between the workspaces. It's important that we had four false floors added between our regular floors because there's over 3,200 miles worth of cabling in the entire building. The Mark and Candy McCaslin Observatory, also known as the ODEC, provides an almost 360 degree view of the campus. The ODEC was built to face the west where most storms originate. The National Weather Center occupies 22 acres on the OU South Research Campus which is also home to research buildings and private weather businesses. The National Weather Center stands here today as a reminder of the 1999 tornado outbreak in the Moore, Oklahoma City metro area. This tragic event prompted President Bill Clinton to become an advocate for funding the National Weather Center, which produces life-saving research geared towards improving our weather warnings. Thank you so much for joining me on this virtual tour today. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. Remember to stay weather ready and visit weather.gov for forecasts and weather safety tips. Have a great day and hope to see you guys soon. <laughs>